Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been getting so many requests to like spill the tea on all of my favorite self tanning products. So this video is literally just me telling you guys all of my secrets, all of my tips. I am the self tanning queen. Like I feel like I have perfected the perfect self tanner at home. I've been trying self tanning products for years and years when I like first became a thing and I have perfected you guys. Like I feel like I have found the best products that I can share with you guys. Let's start off with actually prepping your body to apply self tanner. You're gonna wanna do this either the night before or the day of. You will have to hop in the shower and you're gonna wanna shave and exfoliate your body because you want the self tanner to go on like really smooth, Skin. You don't want to have to shave after you have applied self tanner because then you're just going to take the self tanner off of your legs. If you have already previously applied a self tanner, you will want to make sure you get that old self tanner off and really like exfoliate everything off. That way you get a nice smooth and even tan. In the shower, I actually use this baby right here. I already have a bag in the shower. This is a new one, like my little backup ready to be used. This is the Frank Body Coffee Scrub. This is the original coffee scrub and it is amazing you guys. First of all, the bag is waterproof. This is a vegan formula. It's really gentle, it's easy to use. I basically just massage it all over my skin and I leave it on for three minutes and then I rinse it off. Even if you don't apply self tanner, it's still a really good idea to exfoliate your skin at least once or twice a week to get rid of the dead skin cells and especially in the winter, this is gonna really make sure that your skin is still glowing and nice and soft now it is time well actually it's almost time to apply our self tanner after i come out of the shower once i have shaved and exfoliated i do like to apply lotion all over my body i apply a moisturizer to my face a body lotion to my body and i feel like this gives me a much nicer tan i let the lotion sit on me for about 15 minutes before i start actually applying a self tanner i do like to moisturize my entire body if you don't want to apply lotion all over I recommend that you at least apply lotion to the drier spots like your hands and your knuckles, your feet, your elbows, your knees. That way those areas come out a lot smoother and nicer and they don't come out too dark because a lot of times my hands come out darker when I don't apply lotion to them prior to self tanning. All right, so now that we have applied lotion all over our body, it is time to finally self tan. I'm gonna share two products that are my absolute favorite at the moment. The first one, is this baby right here this is the loving tan two hour express in the shade dark and this is one of my favorite things ever i love that it's only two hours because i no longer like to sit with my self tanner overnight i just want to wash it off as soon as possible so i love that this is two hours you could even get away with using it a little bit less than two hours or if you're in a rush you have an event to go to this is a really great option because you can leave it on for an hour or two shower and you will have an instant tan after that i really like the formula the tan is really beautiful and natural looking and it's just easy to use it's a mousse formula i like to use myself tanners with the mitt that the company also makes they make like these really soft velvety kind of mitts you can also find mitts probably on amazon i know i've seen them at ulta but yeah, I really like these like thicker velvety ones. They're really soft on the skin. Also, I do self tan in my face. Some people don't, so just listen to your skin. If you know that your skin is more sensitive or acne prone, maybe you wanna skip on that part. I haven't had any problems with this, so I do self tan my face. For my face, I do like to use a brush that I have dedicated only for my face. Um, and I like to use like a little bit of a denser brush like this one. This is the BH Cosmetics number two brush. I will start with my face and then work the self tanner on the rest of my body and literally just go like this, circular motions and apply it as if I'm applying a mask all over to my face with the brush. Then for my body, I go back in with the actual mitt. I pump out the product onto the mitt and Again, I just massage it all over my body as if I were applying lotion. And the self tanners have a color guard so you're able to see where you applied self tanner and where you didn't. It's really easy, you don't have to overthink it. I know when you're applying it, it can look very crazy and you're like, what the heck, is this even gonna look good when I shower it off? But it always ends up looking good. Like it doesn't have to be like a perfect application and I promise you, your skin and your tan will look completely even. And then another favorite of mine, another new favorite of mine is this one by Bondi Sands. This, this is the Bondi Sands Liquid Gold Self Tanning Foam. This is such a cool formula, you guys. So first of all, you do need to leave it on for at least six hours for the tan to develop. However, this is the first formula in the history of all the self tanners that I have used 
that actually does not have the weird after self tanner scent. If you guys have self tan before, you know what I'm talking about. All self tanners have this really weird after scent. Um, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but it's whatever, they all have it. However, this one really does not. I swear to you guys, it really does not. This formula is enriched with argan oil and infused with the scent of coconut. It is a really hydrating formula, so I really like it for my skin, especially for the winter months like we're having right now. You guys, it really does smell like coconut. Like, the first time I applied it, I just, every hour that went by, I kept like sniffing myself and I'm like, oh my god, it really doesn't smell. It really smells like coconut. This quickly became one of my favorites, so if I'm not in a rush, I do like to use this one, especially because it gives you a very natural tan like it literally just looks like you were on a little vacation you got a little bit of sun that is the kind of tan you're gonna get with this one it's a mousse formula you have a little bit of a color guard so you know where you're applying everything and again it doesn't smell which is the best part honestly once you have applied yourself tanner and it is time to shower you're gonna want to hop back in the shower but you cannot be rough in the shower you cannot use a loofah this time around you have to just gently wash your body with shower gel or whatever you're using so that you don't exfoliate the self tanner right off your skin that you just took time applying and then once you come out the shower you're gonna want to pat your skin dry like may pretend this is like my full body towel you kind of just want to pat your skin dry so that you're not too rough and take the self tanner right off now after you come out the shower you're dry i do go in and apply lotion once again because the key to really extending your tan and making it look nice and hydrated is to apply lotion every single day i apply lotion in the morning and at night again this is really going to extend the life of your tan and then speaking of extending your tan's life, I'm gonna show you guys two products, one's for the face, one is for the body. That helps me out so much. The first one is a product that I purchased for the first time. I wanna say it was last winter, um, like last December actually. This is called The Face by Tan Lux. And it's these little drops that actually allows you to still apply your skincare. So what I do is the first two, maybe three nights after I self tan, I apply three to five drops into my moisturizer and then I just apply my moisturizer with the drops in it and you wake up with a little bit of a color the next morning. The reason why I like this is because you're going to lose the color from your tan on your face first. So your body is still going to look tan and in a couple of days your face is going to start to look pale. This is really nice because you're still going to look tan on your face as the days go by. That way you can extend the color much longer. And even though it is a little bottle, it it's actually has lasted me so, so long because I don't use it every day. I just use it two, maybe three times a week, if that. Um, but yeah, it's lasted me a year and I'm pretty sure it's going to last me a couple months longer then for the body i love this so much so so much especially if you tan at home and then maybe you're going to go away for the weekend or for a week on vacation this is really great to maintain your tan this is from loving tan and it is called the deluxe gradual tan it is a nourishing tinted body lotion it is not a self tanner it is a tinted body lotion but it's actually going to gradually give you a nice tan so this is really great because you can tan and then maybe if you're going away you can keep on using this as your body lotion and you're still going to keep that tan lasting and the color is so nice you guys i have the shade dark and it's not too dark at all like it just gradually gives you a really nice color by the way if you use either of these two products, the face drops or the gradual body lotion, wash your hands immediately after. Otherwise, the palms of your hands are gonna get dark. Okay, I just have one more product I wanna share with you guys. Let's say you absolutely do not wanna tan your face and let's say that you don't wanna use the drops, like you just don't wanna purchase that, it's whatever. This is what I would recommend for you. So this is by Huda Beauty and it is not a tanning product whatsoever, but I'll tell you guys why I like it so much. This is the Nymph Body Highlighter. I have the shade Aphrodite. She has three shades. This is the medium one, and then she has a lighter one and a darker one. And what I found with this product is that it actually gives me a little bit of color. So I noticed whenever I would self tan and then my body was still really dark and my face was kind of pale, I would apply this as my primer because this is kind of like a primer. And then I would put my foundation over it, like the foundation that matches my actual body, and it would blend seamlessly. So this is kind of nice because it gives you a little bit of color without it meaning to be any type of tanning product. It is going to vary depending on what you're like, which shade you're using. 
um, but the Aphrodite one for my skin tone works really great. Also keep in mind, this is not something that you can just put on your face and just let it be on its own. You need to put foundation over it because if you've ever used it or if you've seen me use it, you're going to look like the Tin Man. It's a super metallic shimmery formula that's meant to be covered by foundation. Unless you're using it maybe on your legs, which I still feel like it's way too metallic. I just like to use this on my face. That is everything I wanted to share with you guys, all of my tips and tricks and all of the products that I'm currently obsessed with when it comes to self tanning at home. I really love self tanning. I feel like especially when you live on the East Coast like I do, and then you get the winter blues. Like it's just nice to give yourself a little boost of confidence with a little self tanner. I love it and these products are amazing. Once again, I'm going to link everything down below. I hope that you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.